Well, good day. This is the second video I'm putting up on the 6th of July, and I hope everybody is doing well and having a great day. My name is Gary Willing, and I just want to let you know, especially if this is your first time hearing these videos, if you want to know more about Maitreya, Masters of Wisdom, want to know more about the priorities of Maitreya, or if you just want to see if there's any truth to it, check out the, the information on the websites that I've provided links for. In the description of these videos, the first two links, the Share International link, and there's a YouTube uh, channel that has a wonderful video of an interview with Benjamin Krem for about an hour. Those two would give you the best background information. That's why I'm recommending them. You want to come back and uh, join the discussion? You can do that too by posting a comment and let me know what you think, posting your questions in the comment section, or emailing me those questions at, to search for signs at mail.com. All right, now I haven't had any questions since the last time I put a video up today, but I did want to circle back around and and uh, address some of the comments and answer some of the questions that uh, I got that I didn't get a chance to answer in the last video because it just got too long. So here we go, uh, at Triple One Poppy. And this is in relation to the links that I was literally just talking about. Also, the Share International New Zealand is a good link and it's a radio station. So if you don't wanna read, you can listen. And Miss Poppy, if you're listening to this, if you, if you know it will be okay with them, if you could email me the link, I will put it in the links too, I promise. Um, the, the more information out, that's out there, the more people talking about this, the more places that people can go and hear different views on these things, the better it will be. So um, but I just don't know if you're talking about their YouTube channel or if you're talking about an actual website that they have or whatever, but whatever works, if it's okay with them, send me the link and I'll put it in. If you... If you post the link as a comment, YouTube is going to ban it. So, cause they don't, it goes into my spam folder and a lot of times I don't see it. So, cause you don't know what those links are you're pressing. So don't, don't put it in the comment, just email it to me. Okay. Uh, right. And let's get on to the next one. This one's a comment that was in German and I would have not known even how to pronounce 90% of these words had it not been for uh, Google translate. So I pressed that little Google translate button and this is what popped out. Is it not the question? It is not a question of whether he, meaning Maitreya, is a real or a false prophet. Dot dot dot. He is not one at all, and certainly not a Christian. So that is, of course, your opinion, and you are entitled to it. And thank you for sharing. I always encourage comments, and you did exactly what I I said to do. To comment, let me know what you think. So I'm not faulting you for that at all. Now the two things I do want to say, if that's what you believe a hundred percent okay based on the fact that you took the time to look into this information investigate it for yourself and that's what you came up with i'm totally cool with it i am hoping that you believe all that a hundred percent and never change your mind but want peace in the world want to see the end of hunger want to see the end of abject poverty want to see justice in the world the end of war whatever aren't these christian values i would say Yes, they are. And you would share those same values with Maitreya, whether you call him a Christian or not, if you believe those things. Now, it is true to say that Maitreya is neither a false prophet or a real prophet and not a Christian. Because, for one, he doesn't claim to be a prophet. He only wants to be looked to and referred to as a teacher. When people look to him in the, in the Asian community of London, we're starting to suspect that he might be the Imamati because they're a Muslim, or he might be the Kalki avatar if they were perhaps um, Hindu, or if they're a Christian, maybe he is the Christ, right? And they would ask people, and then they would eventually get around to asking him. If they saw him, he didn't answer it. He would say, if, I am a, if I'm the Christ for the Christians, what about the Messiah for the Jews? If I am the Imamati for the Muslims, what about the Hindus? What, what, what happens to them? And these are groups that are very diametrically opposed from one another, especially the Muslims and the, and the Jews, the Muslims and the Hindus. So, you know, he's for all people. He's for the whole world, but he's just a teacher. Not claiming to be a prophet, not claiming to know more than you, not claiming to be better than you or anybody else. 
In fact, my uh, Ben's master put it, the way you can really see the Christ, and I'm paraphrasing it, is to see him as he truly is. One among equal sons of God, differing only in the level of the manifestation of that divinity. So hopefully that helps. And he's not a Christian. He's not a Muslim. He's not a Hindu. He's not, uh, you know, a Buddhist. He doesn't align himself with any of those religions. He doesn't want followers. He doesn't want to create a new religion. I know this sounds probably contrary to what you would believe that the teacher would want to do. He's not going to align himself with the Republicans or the Democrats either, or the Labor Party or the Conservatives, or the Palestinians or the Israelis. He is going to be for all people working with every group that's just as divided as it is today to come together and see itself as it truly is, as one family. That's the only way you can do it. So, but thank you very much for the comment, nonetheless. Now, I did have a couple questions that came from at R10896. It sounds like an old-timey phone number. BR549. All right. First question, are you a... A worker of light masters, and are, and then the second question is: Are you directly and are directly connected to the masters of wisdom? It reads kind of funny, but I'll try to read into it. So, am I a worker of the light? Uh, well, are you? I guess is a better question. Doesn't really matter who I am. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, people have asked me before, how do you help? I, I put at the end of every one of these videos, you know, SOP, save the planet. You know, don't forget to SOP, save our planet. And how you can do that? is for one educate yourself on the problems of the world so you're able to speak it to people when they come to you and talk to you about the problems everyone's seeing the problems of the world right not very many people know what to do about it you know um for instance peace good example right somebody's like oh, i'm just sick and tired of all these wars well one of the things that we could try as a nation is to share well that's that's communism that's that's socialism well it really isn't because communism and socialism are just as capitalism are ideologies. Sharing is beyond an ideology. It's really how we should be, taking the resources that are here in this country that we're not using and give it to other countries. It's not probably going to start with the United States, but hopefully it would because we have a lot of resources. But eventually all the nations would do this. And then if you say, hey, look, the most capitalistic country on the planet, hands down, the United States was the only one that tried the principle of sharing. Did it bring about communism? Did it bring about socialism? And then it would say, well, when did they try the principle of sharing? Well, it was with the Marshall Plan, right after World War II. We gave excesses of those resources to Western Europe, but it didn't end with that. When Western Europe started to rebuild their resources and their excesses, they started giving back to pay back what they took. And it created an economic boom in the United States. It stabilized politically the, the European uh, continent. We didn't go back into a third world war. And those nations that participated in the Marshall Plan, even to this day, even after it stopped over 75 years ago, still have a goodwill, peaceful relationship with one another. Why not try it world globally, right, and see what happens? Now, we're, individually, we're not going to be able to do anything about it. But I guarantee you, in the very near future, there will be politicians talking about this as a policy for them. Because there are politicians who know this information in a very real sense. They're going to be the ones that are going to be implementing it. When they're talking about it, talk to your friends about it. Hey, look at this guy. Look at this woman who's talking about this or whatever. Let's listen to what they have to say. There might be some truth to this. Let's just hear them out. You know, and you can help people that way. The other thing you can do before that time, while you're learning this information, is to spread joy and spread hope. You know what I'm saying? Everyone comes to me every day, almost daily about their concerns about the world, about the fear, about their uncertainty and their doubt in some way, whether it's a family member or a coworker or somebody that I just happen to meet, you know, at work that's a total stranger. And if you just turn it on them and give them a little bit of hope, eh, it's not so bad. We're going to get through this. We've gotten through it before. That might be just enough to get those people over the hump. All the times that Maitreya helped me through some of the most difficult times in my life, he, it just was just one thing that he said. Now, granted, he is the Lord of love, and, and we are not, but we still can help out in the same way by just spreading a little bit of hope, a little bit of joy. And these masters will tell you that hope and joy are as just as infectious as fear and hatred. So that's how we counteract that. 
that's the changes that we can make in the world. And then if there's something else you want to do, if you want to join a political movement, join a political movement. If you want to uh, help the homeless, help the homeless, if that's what you want to do. If you want to paint a painting, paint a painting. If you want to teach an underprivileged kid or a kid or whatever like this, then teach. You know, whatever, however you see yourself serving, do it. Maitreya says many other ways to serve. Just find a way to serve and serve. And when you do that, it will open up your life in a way that you can't possibly imagine. It will totally change the way that you look at life. Really, it will change the way you are entirely. And then you can be a, a light worker too. <laughs> you know, does that make sense? And then it doesn't really matter what Gary does, you know. And I'm trying to do this in my own life, and that's why I'm suggesting it to you. So anyway, and the other thing about, am I, if you're asking him, I, Gary, directly connected to the Masters of Wisdom, uh, then I would say the answer would be no. If you're asking Gary if this information is directly related to the Masters of Wisdom, then the answer most surely is yes, okay? So I'm only speaking the truth as I see it. I have no inner, inner um, information or secret information that's given to me by the Masters that I'm giving to you. You know, I don't have a connection like Ben had where he could telepathically connect with them. He was telepathically trained in a way to be able to connect with his master and have a moment-to-moment -moment relationship and connection with his master. I don't have that. I don't have any inside track on anything. All the information I'm talking about is coming from the Alice Bailey teachings, Benjamin Krem's books, the master uh, articles that I read and I record from time to time. And a lot of times I, I, I start to absorb that information because I keep making mistakes as I record it. And then I re-record it again. And then I'll read the line again. I'm like, man, I didn't see it like that. And I'll meditate on it for days after reading it. That's why I always encourage you to read those things. And then the last thing that I, I share with people are my own personal experiences with my trade. And that's it. There isn't anything that I know that you couldn't get by just reading Benjamin Krem books or listening to Ben's Master or reading the Alice Bailey books. That's it. So hopefully that answers that question. And then the other thing that I will say about that, and this is what I wanted to add too, because you're not the first person to ask me that question. I've had other people ask me if I have a connection with a master or you know, can be channel a master or whatever, is this. It, you know, if I told you that I have a connection with a master, would that make this information that I'm giving you more real? If I told you that I didn't, which is what I have been telling you, that I don't have a connection with a master, would that make this information more real or less real to you? And if that's the case, then you're not listening to me with the way I want you listening to me, which is just listening to me with honesty, one-to-one, -one, as a person-to-person. -person, you know, I'm not a, I don't say I'm special, I don't think that I'm special. I'm just an ordinary person who is sharing your extraordinary information and is willing to do it, perhaps even stupid enough to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I couldn't live with myself if I didn't start talking about this, and that's why I did it. You know, and Maitreya is, according to Ben, has already been giving interviews on TV, speaking to the media, perhaps speaking to groups, you know, and those kind of things in person, and, and has taken a huge step into the lives of, of humanity. These masters are waiting in the wings, waiting for him to finally declare himself on the day of declaration. But in the meantime, Maitreya is speaking to them, but he's not claiming to be Maitreya. Why? <laughs> Why would he do this, right, is the question that you should ask yourself. Well, according to Ben, and I'll give you a little bit of an answer, is he wants us to listen to him with honesty and not as some kind of authority. Or to reject what he has to say because you think he's Maitreya because you've been thinking he's the Antichrist this whole time, right? Or whatever, right? But just to listen to him. You might agree with some of the things that he says. You might agree with all the things that he says. You might not agree with any of it that he says. And he's fine with that as long as you're just listening to him and not listening to him with the prejudice of him being Maitreya. Yeah, that kind of thing. That's why he's not using his name. That's why he won't say who he is until the day of declaration. And then we'll all know. But that's the importance of it. And that's the importance of not speaking out and telling others that you recognized Maitreya and who he is and what names he's using. And he's on this channel or I saw him on this YouTube channel. You know, it's important not to talk about it because it's important for each and every one of us to recognize what he's saying and either want what he's saying to be true or not. Now, when it comes to the, the principle of sharing, this is, this is something that I haven't really spoken about, but I do think this to be true, is the principle of sharing will not start 
until Maitreya gives humanity the choice, which won't be until the Day of Declaration. He might not really even talk about the principle of sharing until the Day of Declaration. I don't know. I'm just surmising this, okay? But we won't really do it until then. We won't do it because he will show humanity the two futures that we have waiting for us if we try sharing what will happen and the benefits of it and the peace that it will create and the love that it will create or the... And then, you know, looking at it, what do we do if we don't <laughs> accept the principle of sharing? But up until that point, I don't think humanity is really going to take that step. We have to see that our future's on the line. When we do, when we see it, that's when we'll, we'll choose and make the right decision. As Maitreya says, he knows that we will. But hopefully those answers those questions. I love you guys very much. Thank you so much for uh, asking the questions. And I look forward to putting up videos in the very near future. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Take care. Remember to take action and help SOP save our planet. Thanks for listening, and we look forward to talking to you again in future videos.